What's up everyone, how you doing? Blue Nerd here and welcome back my friends to our Minecraft Medieval Castle tutorial. I sure hope you guys are having an awesome day. Now today guys, we are going to head straight into the castle and we're going to be heading all the way up to the top here. We're going to be doing the King's Quarters and I've got a whole bunch of ideas. But before we do that guys, I just want to say a quick thank you for all the support in the last castle tutorial. You guys really enjoyed the dungeon and I had a lot of really good feedback on that one. So thank you guys so much for all the support. But today we're going to head straight up to the top of the castle and start on the King's Quarters. Now the castle is shaping up pretty well guys and I think maybe two to three more videos and I should be able to completely finish up all the interior. So we're doing pretty well with it now and uh, there's not really too much more to do. So we're going to head all the way up here first of all. Alright guys, so we've got quite a lot of space to play with up here. So what we're going to do, I think we're going to start down here. If we come down to here, right where we've got our balcony, we've got a window on this side. This is going to be the king's bedroom, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to put a wall all the way across here. So right where this flat wall here is, we're going to bring it all the way across to here, like so. Then I think from that block there, we'll go one, two, break that one. We can place one there, and this will be where the wall goes for here. And then obviously we'll have our doorway come over the top. So we'll do something like that, and then I think... From the other side, from here, we're going to put an upside down stair like that. And that's going to be the doorway. So let's just go ahead and we're going to just fill this off first of all with our dark oak. Or if you're using a different colored block for your roof or and floor and stuff, go ahead and use a block that you feel fits in better with that. But I'm going to just use a dark oak here and just fill all of this area here all in like this. So we have a kind of a bit of a divided wall between this part here. Where this wall is here, I'm going to do exactly the same thing around this edge here, just covering up the stone like this. Just like that, just so that we've got that covered up and it kind of makes everything blend in a bit nicer. Over here we've got a window, so what I'm going to actually do here is I'm going to go one, two, one, two. Let's do the same at this side like this. Then I'm going to raise it up to the wall there like that. Same over here. Then we're going to keep raising it up on that side there. We're going to bring it out across the front here at the top. And then just fill this section at the back here. Fill that all in. And then one more layer like so. And then we're going to stick an upside down stair here and here. Just to give us a bit of a nicer shape there for the window. And I think that will give the king a nice kind of look out at the front part of the castle. And for the moment, we're going to just leave it like that. Okay, I think that will do. We'll come back. We've got loads more adjusting to do in here, but we'll do that all a bit later on. Okay, on the other side here, guys, we want to have a two block gap on this side, a one block gap here, and then a wall starting from here. And we're going to place that one there and then go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And we should be one block away from that corner there. So we don't want it to line up with this edge here. Okay, we want it one block back. Now, I think I'm going to have a stone wall in here somehow. So let me first of all just work out what I can do here. Because the stairway, we're going to add in some walls so that we can create more space around the edge here. So first of all, where we got our stairway, we want to break the fence across this backside here. And then this fence across here. Then we're going to literally just bring the stone bricks across here and across here. And we're going to raise from here all the way around. And we're going to bring it into here, raising it right up to the ceiling as high as you can go, okay? Just like this. Okay, once you've got your wall in place, we're going to make a little bit of a kind of a neater surround on this window. So like we've done with the bedroom window, we're going to go ahead, place two here and two in front. And then just raise this one all the way up as high as we can. Let's do the same over here. So again, two blocks like that. Bring it out and just raise it up to about here. Across the top, do exactly the same, bringing it out by two. Same at there, and then just fill the rest of it up like so. Place an upside down stair up here and here. Down the bottom, place some stone bricks across here, and then some stone brick stairs upside down at the bottom like that. So what we're going to do here is where, this, where we've got the wood panels here, we want to take it down. So break this top corner step. 
and with your dark oak planks raise it up and join it into that and then do the same across here filling in all of this corner then you can get dark oak stairs and just wrap them around this edge like so right let's do the same here bring our stairs all the way across and then just place one around this corner for the moment okay and then over here we're gonna go ahead and just fill these ones out to here one more okay perfect just like that right okay that's looking pretty good we've got a nice bit of shape here for a window we're gonna get our stone bricks again and from behind here this time we're gonna go from here all the way across and fill this section here and we want a doorway right there one across okay so let's fill that one like that we're gonna put another row on top of this one and then another row here place an upside down stair there and then just fill the top of this in with your stone bricks all the way up to the ceiling to create another dividing wall okay perfect now so as we come upstairs here we've got a walkway down there that's going to lead to the king's bedroom and to two little bedrooms i think then in here we're going to come in and we'll have another room in here now in here i think let's go ahead and we'll make a little doorway in here so let's go ahead and put in an upside down stair on the third block up so one two three and the same on that side then we're going to just put some blocks across like this and then just fill this section in here yeah something like that and then i think what we do is behind here we're going to put some dark oak planks like this fill this one all the way up to there and then bring it down and then on that one there which is the third one just put an upside down stair to create ourselves a nice little doorway okay now i think what we do the scale dark oak we've continued this one over to the corner here filling it down here we're one block from that corner okay so we don't want to we don't want to go right into the corner just one block over and then we're just going to fill the rest of this wall with some dark oak planks all the planks that you're using for your flooring and your roof and stuff so make sure it all matches up now let's grab ourselves another potion and in here we're going to put some stone bricks like this to fill in this corner i think we're going to place an upside down stair that side like that and then a dark oak one on this side and then we're going to have a doorway in there in a minute um, but for the moment let's work on organizing a bit of this room so we're going to go ahead i think and what we'll do here let's put some upside down stairs across the side here right underneath those four blocks and we're going to stop right about here which is one block in front of this and we're going to do again on this window exactly the same as we've done on the last surround so let's break that torch we want to come out by two we're going to raise it all the way up do the same over here bring these ones out and we want to raise this bit all the way around the window bring it across and then just fill all this piece at the back here and then just one more in front just like so upside down stair at each side like this and i think that looks pretty good let's get our dark oak stairs and run them across this side as well all the way to this corner here now we have got a couple of stone here let's go ahead and break those and we're going to just put in a couple of dark oak like this and we'll change a bit on the other side in a moment now we're going to just get ourselves some dark oak stairs for the moment and we're going to run them all the way across here and all the way across here do the same on the opposite side here okay that is looking pretty good i think the ceiling looks like it needs to come down so what we're going to do is in the center here we're just going to come down by two blocks Just to lower that centerpiece of the ceiling. I think that would look much better. Now let's quickly get ourselves a dark oak door. And we're going to go ahead. And what we're going to do here is just put in a dark oak door. I think from this side. Yeah, perfect. There we go. Just like that. And that will section that off. 
Now, in here, we're going to have a little storage room and I'll explain it more in a minute. Let's just kind of make the room up first of all, but you guys will get it once we uh, kind of start organizing. So first of all, in here, let's do exactly the same again as what we've been doing. So we're going to come free across this time because this room has a little bit of a wider space. So let's go free across like this, bringing it out from the wall by two. And we're going to just keep raising it all the way till we get up here. Do the same on this side. And then we're going to just bring it out here by two and fill all of this section at the back. Down the bottom here, we'll put a row and then some upside down stairs in front. One upside down stair there and one upside down stair there. Then we're just going to put some upside down stairs across here, here and underneath all of the four blocks like this. Do the same on this side. And then right at the top in the center here, bring it down by two, okay? So just one, two, one, two, and one, two. Something like that, okay? We can get rid of these torches for the moment. Okay, now I'm gonna be doing something nicer with the ceilings. Don't worry, guys, we're not sticking to just the upside down stairs. We're gonna put in some beams going across to make a really nice ceiling but we'll do that in just a moment let's just kind of organize where everything is going first of all right okay so that seems pretty good we've got a good divide in the rooms here let's go ahead and do something here because we've got some stone there okay right let's change that out for some dark oak and what we do here we're gonna go let's put in the center here so we're where the stairs are right and this very top point here Fill this bit here so the roof, the ceiling comes down and is level like this. Okay, put some upside down stairs across this side. Upside down ones across this side like this for the minute. This section here, just go ahead and fill it up with your planks to there and then put an upside down stair in the center. Then what's behind here? Wow, ah, we can actually break. Oh no, we can't break that road. Let's change that. We'll put those blocks back in. Okay, so we can just, um, well, to be honest, this is actually going to be covered. We're going to be covering that in a minute, so that ain't going to matter. So leave that as it is. We'll get our upside down stairs and just wrap them around this edge here. Also do the opposite side around here. So we get a nice kind of little kind of shape in here in this part of the, um, the castle. I think it looks pretty good. Okay, now we're going to get in some beams. So what we're going to do is come over to here. Where we've got these upside down stairs here. The one above, we're going to place a dark oak log coming across there. Another one across here. One across here. Again, they're just leaving a one block gap between them. And then one across here. Just like so, okay? Then we're going to get our dark oak stairs. And we're going to place one underneath this one. One underneath this one one underneath that one one underneath that one and then we'll place one in between that gap there and there and there and there make sure they are upside down and i think we can actually just run the upside down stairs all the way across like this actually and then what we do get your dark oak planks put one in there one in there and change those stairs there for that okay now, all we're going to do here, guys, is at the very top here, just put in a few lanterns or some form of light. And it can be torches. It doesn't have to be the lanterns. And then above the pillars here, just put one and maybe one there, just on top of those to stop anything from spawning up there. Then what we're going to do is get your dark oak planks again. We can break this stair here and just fill this with planks like so. Do the same in this gap. And then do the same across this gap here. And then finally across this gap here. Just make sure you have plenty of lighting up there so that you don't get any mob spawn. Then we're going to place some upside down stairs in the gaps like this. So we should have something that looks something like this now. A nice little ceiling. And we've got, what, four beams. So let's go one, two, three, and four lanterns like this. Just to keep it well lit up in here. And if you feel this one looks a bit out of place, you can remove that. I think it looks a little bit odd. 
And I think that'll do guys, that looks pretty good in here. We will be adding in a bit of decoration and stuff in a little while. Um, it's not going to be too crazy, but we will add some decoration in here. Okay, so let's get all of our ceilings kind of in place. In here, we're going to have some more of the dark oak logs for the ceiling. And I think in this room, let's go. I'll tell you what, we'll go, we've go. we got these upside down stairs. Let's go one above. And we want to leave a one block gap by the window here. Okay, so go one here, one. Leave a one block gap all the way. Perfect. And as you can see, that should line up perfect. So we can put two more on front of those and bring it all the way across. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, what we're going to do here again, guys, because we don't want mobs or anything like that spawning, is put a torch up here. I'm going to just use the lantern for now. But you guys can go ahead and just put a torch on top of the center of these beams, okay? Just like this. Then get yourself some dark oak planks. And you can actually remove them stairs that we placed earlier and just put in three dark oak planks into the gap like so do the same in all of these gaps like this okay so right in between the logs just place these in once you've done that go ahead on each side by the side of the logs and just place in an upside down stair like this and then obviously turn around and do exactly the same across this side and then we can just place some lanterns all the way down like this in the middle of all of these beams. And I think that gives us a really nice room. And uh, now we can just get rid of these torches because we don't need those. Okay, that's the ceiling in here. Let's head into this room here, which is going to be the little storage room. So in here, we're going to do the same thing. Come up to where the top of the window is. And then you want to go up by one block. Break this stair here and bring a beam all the way across. Join it to there. Do the same on this side. Break this stair here so you can join it into there like that. And then I think just put a stair upside down on each side like this. I think that looks pretty good. And then we put one beam through the middle. Oops, let's grab the log. One beam in the middle and we can put a lantern on there like that. In this gap here, just come up here and just place a couple of torches around something like this. And then you can go ahead and just put your dark oak planks in the gaps like this. Just to cover up those gaps at the top. And that'll do for in here for the ceiling. That looks pretty good. Right, now let's head down this way. We're going to head into here, which is going to be the little hallway. Now before we do that, let's work out the divide, dividing up these bedrooms. Now, we should be able to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, this one here is the center. So let's go ahead and put a dividing wall in between here. Because this is going to divide two little sort of guest rooms. Okay. And then we're going to put one more on top. So we now will have three. Let's do this. And then... Where that center, center sort of uh, wall is there, we're going to leave a one block gap and then place a two block door here. And where this corner one is, come over one and put a two block there for a door. Change that top one there for an upside down stair. And then we're just going to pretty much fill it up with some dark oak planks across the top and raise it all the way to the ceiling. At the very top here, guys, the wall will come into the ceiling here. So make sure you fill this center piece of the ceiling up like this. And then you should be able to get your wall in here, no problem. Okay, once that's all in place, guys, let's go ahead at the top here where we've got this bit. Let's just bring these two down like this just to give us a little bit more sort of, um, of our ceiling. Now, in here, I think we're going to do something to keep this pretty low. Is that? Yep, that's a block on the outside. So, what we're going to do is we'll get our dark oak logs 
and we're gonna go up by let's say by one so leaving this edge here we're gonna come up to this one leave that one at the very corner and go one two three four five leaving a one block gap between them and then place two in front of them to join them across to the opposite side get your dark oak stairs place one in between the gap and then one underneath like this do the same on the opposite side okay guys this is looking pretty good now so i think what we're gonna do down this side here is I think we're literally just going to run some bookshelves all the way across this edge here like that. Okay, and we'll add in a little bit of decoration in a bit. But I think just going to keep it nice and simple. We've got our room in here. So let's go ahead. Let's break these torches out of the way for the minute. And we just want to get a ceiling in place. So this room and this room here are going to be exactly the same. So we're going to come up to the top here. Fill two blocks in at the very top like this to bring the ceiling down a bit. We're going to place some upside down stairs across here. Like this. And then we're going to go one, two and three. And then bring them across like this. So there's a one block gap between them. Upside down stair in the center. Upside down stair there. On this side here we're going to place a stair underneath them like this. In fact we're running that. No, we'll keep that like that. And then in the gap, we'll place the upside down stair. Like this. That looks pretty good. And then in the center here, you just want to go ahead and put yourself some torches up here. Make sure you put a few just to keep plenty of light up here. And then just run your dark oak planks through the center. And cover up the gap like so. I think that looks pretty good. And in here, we're going to just put one light, which is kind of in the center, but it's one over because this room's a little bit of a uneven number. It's four blocks. So something like that. And then we're just going to get rid of those. And again, guys, we'll come back in here and decorate in just a minute. I think that's good enough. Make sure you go ahead and put yourself a door on as well. So we haven't got no doors here. So let's grab our dark oak door. Place one on the inside from here. Place one on the inside here. One on the inside of this room. And inside here, we'll do the same thing. One in there. Okay, and we'll also put one from the inside for the king's room. Okay, now for this bedroom here, guys. Again, exactly the same as we've done last time. So let's go ahead, just fill the room on the ceiling. Like so. We're going to come down here. Uh, this one, let's go ahead. Let's put it one higher. We'll put the beam across there. There and there. We're going to put some of these underneath. And then in the gaps. Same on this side. Just like so. Um, underneath here, let's just put a row of upside down stairs like that. And in fact, break that corner one. And in here, just put a pillar like this with the stone bricks just so that blends in okay and then of course like we've done in the last one we're gonna get ourselves our lanterns again and we're literally just gonna just brighten it up and then put some wood across so let's put some of these and then boom 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 and then like that okay and then all we need to do is get ourselves in a lamp in here which gives us a center point like this so in fact, guys, probably better to do that in the other room because that gives us more of a center look to the room. So break these out. Let's quickly just do this one again. So what we're going to do, guys, is literally go to the one above. So where we've got the bottom of the block here, come across to this one. Place your beam across there, there and there. All the way across. Put stairs underneath and then the gap upside down in the gaps and then underneath then we can go ahead run some upside down stairs underneath here some lanterns or torches at the top here it doesn't really matter just as long as you can cover up 
the uh, just to put some lighting up there because you don't want no mob spawning and then one lantern in the middle of the room and I say that is good okay guys right so in here we're gonna actually decorate this as we go along because there's a couple there's a big bed that I want to put in here and I want to make sure that we get the bed in place before we do the ceiling so I want to make sure that there's not that there's enough room and that the bed doesn't sort of touch the ceiling so we've got our window over here we've got our door over there to the balcony the bed is gonna go over here and it's gonna be quite a big bed so let's go one two gap on this side place a plank there one two gap that side and we should have three right in the middle giving us a nice kind of um, a nice big wall to work with so let's put three in the center and then a slab at each side then we're gonna put two slabs there and one in the center where we've got the full block at this side and that side we're gonna go one two three um, let's leave it a three for now one two three then we're gonna put in three white wall across here three red wall three red wall and would there be one more yeah maybe one more so three rows of red wall put a slab here and a slab here and then a full block on the end slabs across the bottom here and that's looking pretty good now get your spruce fence and go on the full block on this side one two and three the full block on this side one two and three so you should have the three block gap in the center one two and three on here one two and three on there now around the edge you want to put your fence gate going across joining them so place one there and then you want to bring it across to here again you will need to crouch to actually place the fence against the the fence gate against the fences so just keep doing that and then you should be able to join it up here and then that as you can see goes all the way around get your slabs and on top you want to place your slabs all the way around the edge okay just like this bring it down to here and then join it up across here and then in the center place your red wall just like this and we get a really nice a big kind of kings looking bed and i think this actually looks really cool and i'm really happy with the way this one looks get your snow layers and just put one across the pillow and it just gives it a little bit of a raised edge to look more like a pillow and if you wanted you could add one more layer even to make it look a little bit more puffy but i think that overall looks pretty good okay right so now i always also want to get in a fireplace in here so let's get ourselves some stone bricks and stone brick stairs and then we want to get ourselves a couple of campfires and we're going to put in a fireplace just over to the side here in front of the bed so i think we're going to go about here so two blocks gap from this corner leave a two block gap and place one there and your two fires will go campfires are going to go right there place another block on top of this one and that one now here's going to be a bit strange guys so try and follow along we put a stair like this and a stair like this okay then we want to put a stair going that way then that way place a temporary one there and then one on against that way temporary upside down one there and one in front okay so we've now got this kind of shape then on top here place a stair that way and a stair that way a stair on this one a stair on this one two full blocks here and then continue your four blocks all the way up to the ceiling like this and there you go you've got a nice little fire in the bedroom here and i think it's kind of cozy which i think looks pretty cool so for the king's room here we're gonna go to that is the actual bedroom door we're gonna come over to the window where the window is yeah so where the window is we got one block above the window we want to go to the next one above we want to go one over so leave a one block gap place three here then place one against the chimney and you want to run that all the way over to this side here join it up 
one block gap and I just keep continue the pattern of a one block gap and just keep bringing it all the way over okay that looks pretty good now like with all the other seedlings guys you want to go ahead and put in a bunch of torches up here as well I'm gonna just use the lanterns of course so just like this you just want to place a load up here because we're kind of going to cover a lot of these sections so you want to make sure that there's plenty of light so that no mobs can spawn you can even throw some lanterns up on here just put plenty of torches up there make sure that no mobs can spawn and then you're going to place stairs right underneath where the logs go we're going to place them all the way across here around this corner and then we're going to just bring it all the way across like this and join into there come over to this corner here we're going to do that then face one that way and join it around so that it looks like it goes around that edge over here bring upside down stairs all the way around this edge like that make sure your stairs are all upside down and then over this side here again around the edge underneath just place upside down stairs like this and wrap them around this little edge in here now in between the gaps that you can see you want to place upside down stairs like this and for this one here you want to come right where the red wall is and just place one right in front of it like that okay do the same over here upside down stair there there and there and then again in the gaps over here just place one in between like this and where you have this this gap at the back here place in a solid block and then an upside down stair in front of it okay and i think that actually looks pretty good what we're gonna do where we got these stairs here we're gonna play break that one behind place a normal block behind it and then round the edge of the fire here bring your stairs all the way around so that they join in here and then this one here go ahead and break that and put in a full block and then a stair in front yeah just like that now up here guys is gonna be um, a little bit tricky so basically you just want to put a block to cover your cover the inner edge here you can place it against a torch if you've got a torch up there or a lantern place a block in just to cover that little area and like areas like this we've got two so let's go ahead and just make sure that we cover two of the blocks something like this just like that and then in here i think we're going to place a torch on this one and maybe every other one all the way across yeah I think that looks pretty good okay right now we're down to this edge here so what we're gonna do on the bottom edge I think we're gonna wrap some stairs around this corner here and join it up to this edge here and on this corner here I'm gonna put one like that I think and then the others can come across here just put some stairs underneath maybe like that I think that should do um, that one can actually go that way I think and then that one can go that way as well and I think that might look a little bit better yep and then here just place the upside down ones here and run them round okay guys right over here we're gonna see if we can put in a desk let's break this corner stair and this one here and the, bl the block above that is and then put a pillar of dark oak logs like this then we're gonna put in an upside down stair there and there with a slab at each side and a lectern in the center with a book on quill we put a flower pot there and a flower pot there Let's put a red mushroom in there to turn that to a book and quill. Now that'll only work if you're using Jermsey Boys texture pack, uh, which has got this really cool little book and quill here. I think it looks really cool. Um, and I think that will do. We'll get ourselves a little lamp. So let's grab our lamp and we'll swap that one out. 
and we'll put the lamp I think about there and then we can just get ourselves maybe a little oak sapling and bung that in just there and I think that looks pretty cool like a little desk and we'll go ahead and we're gonna stick a little chair in front of it like that for the king to do his work at and that is looking pretty good over this side here we're gonna put another little desk so let's put one upside down stair at each side and then some slabs all the way across so let's put a little keg here with a tripwire hook on the front um, we can go ahead and put maybe a lantern on there let's put a little cup and we can put a brown mushroom in there to make it look like a little cup of drink and I think that will actually do to be honest guys just put a flower pot there with a sapling in it yeah I think that will actually do for in here let's go ahead and get ourselves a little bit of red carpet and we only need a little bit in here I'm not gonna go too crazy with the carpet and what we're gonna just do is get the red carpet let's just start by just scattering a load of it all over the place Okay, so maybe something kind of like this, guys. We could scatter it and break it up a little bit more if you wanted. Maybe a bit like this. I think that actually looks pretty good. Okay, so, so far, guys, I'm really happy with the way this room is shaping up. I do have a couple more things we can do. So let's just grab ourselves some composters, some, some leaves of your choice. I, I just try the acacia leaves. Let's see what they look like. And then we're going to get ourselves some armor stands. And just some armor. Probably some diamond armor. He is the king after all. Perfect. And what we'll do is we'll place an armor stand on top of that slab. So we'll place it against the wall above like that. And the same over there. Put your armor on it. And same on the other side. There we go lovely and I think over here at the side of the window let's go like here and here couple of acacia leaves on top so we've got a composter and a couple of acacia leaves um, could we get away with one in the corner like that I think it looks a little crowded Maybe we put one down here, like so. And you know what? I think that will do. We don't want to go too crazy here. And then if we come out on the balcony, we can just come out here and maybe we'll put one on this side here and here. And then place one on top. One on top. You will have to crouch and then place one like that. And I think that will do. We don't need to go too crazy with these. And guys, I think that just about does the king's bedroom. I think this is actually really cool. I'm happy with this. So we're going to move on now. Let's move out of this room and let's start on the first bedroom here. Right, let's go ahead and I think just put a bed where the door is here. I'm going to just go right in the middle here. Let's put a headboard like that. And then that should be more than enough for a bed. So we've got four, a two by two for the cover and then a two, a one by two for the headboard the top let's put um, a, a little um, bookshelf sorry guys I couldn't get the words bookshelf across there maybe we'll put a bookshelf in both of these corners some sea pickles over here because they look like candles uh, we've got a lantern on there already let's go ahead now we could either do that for the bed like that or we could leave those out of the way and we could go ahead and actually put in a nice headboard with the spruce trapdoors like that and then maybe a couple down here as well and I think I'm gonna go with that I think I actually prefer it like that yeah that looks pretty good but I think one thing I might do is move the bed over because it's very kind of cramped on the door here otherwise 
So let's do that, get rid of that trap door and then put one over here. Put that there like that. And then what we can do is get ourselves a couple of crafting tables and place those in there like that. And that should be all right, guys. I think we're going to put a couple of sea pickles there, a little painting in the center. Maybe we'll get rid of that one there and we'll put a single painting like that. Actually, I'm not too sure about that there. Let's put one here instead. Uh, again, still not sure there. Let's do a single. Yeah, that looks okay. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Let's go into the next bedroom. So in here, we're going to do something similar again. I think maybe... Yeah, let's have the bed over here. So we have the headboard there. The bed coming down this way. We'll have a sideboard over here. Maybe some units on here. Like that. Let's, oops, let's put that back. And let's get rid of these stairs here. These four blocks. Oops. And for this room, we'll put some bookshelves on that side. And we'll bring them across like that. Maybe have a lantern there and a painting on that one. And let's see a painting about here. That looks good. Another little lantern on there. And you know what, guys? I actually think we could get away with doing just that. Let's put a headboard up here. So the bed looks like it's got a nice headboard. Don't know if it'd look right doing that. Not sure that looks right. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I don't think it looks right. But I think that'll do, guys. We don't need to go too crazy for the bedroom. So we're going to do that. Down the hallway here, let's go one, two at this end and put a lantern. One, two at this end, put a lantern. Um, and then we're going to put maybe some sea pickles here in the middle. Let's put a... Oh, that's too big. Let's put in something like that. And why do they put it in so big? Let's do that. And then we'll do that. Which I think looks pretty cool. That should do the job for there. Um, and to be honest, we don't really need to go too crazy down here. I think maybe we're going to break the end one down here like this. And I think what we'll do is we're going to get a dark oak log. And just place one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Just like that. Yeah, in fact, actually, we're going to replace those. Rather than that, we'll put in dark oak. Dark oak planks to match the, the walls. Something like that. And then grab your stair, place an upside down one there. Upside down one there. And it gives you a bit of a nice little kind of cove through the center here, which I think looks quite nice. And do you know what I think that'll do, guys? Let's get some green carpet. Get our green carpet and as always let's just do our kind of scatter thing yeah something like that i think we'll do guys and i think i'm pretty happy with that we've got our nice little bedroom in here and we've somehow missed one trap door here guys let's try that one again one down there and open it there we go just to make sure we have it in for our bed and this one in here again which i also think looks pretty good okay right through to this room here which is the main hall and out here like i said we're not gonna do nothing too special here let's put a couple of those there with a little lantern on it and then over here i'm thinking i'm gonna grab out a flower pot get ourselves some oak saplings Put a couple on each side here, a couple of saplings like that. And then up here, we're going to grab some green carpet again as well. And again, we're just going to do that scatter. So let's just scatter it around. Yeah, something like that. And then I guess out here, we could have a painting over here. Maybe even another one up here.
yeah and i think that looks really cool okay into this room here Okay guys, for this room I actually got an idea from one of you subscribers which was Kieran who posted a picture in my discord of a wine tasting room which I think was a great idea. So we're going to go ahead and make a bit of a wine tasting room in here as well. Now we're going to start by getting in I think a table down the end here. So let's get ourselves, um, let's get ourselves some planks. And we're going to go ahead and put a table right in front of the window here. So. We want to have a seat around it, so we want to go about here, which is going to be one, two, three, four, on the fifth block away from the window, and we're going to just place three like that, and we're going to literally go all the way around with our upside down stairs like this, and then we're going to place one, two, and three stairs on that side, and then the same on this side. Perfect. So now we've got ourselves a little table. Now we're going to go ahead and get in some barrels on a little little sort of um, table here. So right where, that's, where that, that chair ends, we're going to leave a one block gap here. So there's enough room to get through. And we're going to take this one all the way over to there. Okay, so we're one block away from the door. Put in two slabs here. And we're going to go, say, one, two, three barrels for the moment. And we'll place a tripwire hook on all of those. Then over on this side here, we're going to place an upside down stair there and one about here, which is two block gap on this side. And we're going to do the same thing, slabs through the center. And then we're going to go one, two, three, and four on this one. And we're going to have taps on these three. In fact, we're going to have taps on all four. So I think that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to just add a cauldron about here. Uh, maybe one there just randomly where they maybe want to fill these up with some wine for tasting so let's see um, yeah that's that's pretty good I'm happy with that let's get ourselves a little table in over here so let's go oops too close to the door let's come to this one here we get a little table in there and we'll put a lantern on there for the minute now I've actually installed a data pack guys, so I'm going to get some red dye and maybe some pink dye for the moment. So we can color cauldron water with this, it's the colored cauldrons data pack for 1.14. Now I will leave a link in the description, I'll try and remember, if I don't put it in there guys do remind me and I'll make sure that I post it. Um, so we're going to basically put some water in these and we can just drop a red dye into that one to make the water red. And we're going to drop a pink dye in that one to make it pink. We can have two different types of um, of wines, which I think is pretty cool. On the table here, we're going to give just a bunch of um, a bunch of drinks. Well, not drinks, a bunch of cups. That looks too organized. Let's put one there, one there, one there. Um, that one there, maybe. Yeah, that looks better. And then we're going to go ahead and put in a brown mushroom to make them look a bit like a um, like a cup. Let's place a lantern in the middle. And I think that's all we're going to need for here. So let's just place a couple of these on the table and we'll put berries on there because that is what the wine is made with. We're going to put a cake over here. And we're going to do something with that in just a moment. Now I think we'll put another flower pot here, flower pot here, and then we're just going to put some oak saplings in there and there. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And if you wanted to guys, you could go ahead and switch out this down here. You could put some upside down stairs underneath here to get like a little window ledge. Throw in a couple of those and maybe some of those. Okay, and I think that is actually looking pretty cool. I like this. A nice little wine tasting room. Nice and simple. Not too crazy, but uh, really cool. And like I said, guys, this was from an idea I got from one of my subscribers who posted in my Discord. So if you want to join my Discord, guys, be sure to check the link out in the description. And um, also, thanks to Kieran for the idea. That was a really cool idea and something I totally didn't even think about. 
Now, in this room here, we're going to make a little storage room for all of the wine. And we're going to add some carpet and stuff like that in a sec. So in here. So I'm going to put some crafting tables down this side here. And then I'm going to just go with some barrels. And we're just going to randomly place a few of these in going up the wall. OK, so leave a little gap where the door is and just randomly spot in a few going up. Something kind of like this. And then in all the gaps, let's go ahead and put in our scaffold. Maybe this one in the corner here to put that. Yeah, and I think that looks pretty good. Then we're going to just quickly grab a tripwire hook. And what we do is we'll just place a couple on some of these as if they're open. So that one, maybe that one like that. I think that would be pretty cool. Let's put in a lantern over in this corner, like so. Maybe a flower pot, maybe a couple of flower pots here again. Let's put some of these in here. And then we're going to just put a couple of these on just a couple of the barrels, like that. And maybe we just put some grapes on there because, you know, that is what the wine would be made with some grapes and stuff like that. So I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, I think that's all we need. We don't need nothing too crazy in here. What we might do is just grab a pillar, a uh, dark oak log, and we can bring that all the way up, break that one, and join it onto there like so. And that just creates a nice little kind of finish into this room here. And I think I'm going to leave this one just like that. Let's come back outside here, and we're going to get ourselves some green carpet. So grab our green carpet just here. And just again, guys, for this room, we're going to just, you know, go ahead and just kind of make a random roughed up pattern here. Nothing too crazy. OK, that's looking pretty good. I think we're just going to go ahead and put a painting behind there, which. Hmm, is that a bit too big? Yeah, I think I want to get rid of that one. Let's go ahead and put that up there. And maybe that one. That should do. I think that is pretty good. And I think one last thing we're going to do, guys, is go ahead into here again where we just was. And I think where those taps are, let's put a cauldron underneath those. Get a water bucket. And then again, a couple of dyes here. So with the dyes, we're going to just go with... Uh, let's get the cyan. We're just curiosity to see what that one looks like. Maybe the lime green. Maybe even the orange. Um, so let's go ahead, put in our water bucket and the cyan. Boop. I'm not sure if that really looks like wine. Let's go ahead and put in some lime. Okay, might be a little bit of a crazy color, but we'll go with it. And then what about the orange one? Yeah, why not? You know, that'll do. And I think that is a really cool little storage room, guys. If you wanted to, you could go ahead and put yourself a little bit of carpet in here. Just make it look a little bit rough. Something like that. And I think that will do. Guys, i got to say, I am absolutely loving this project so far. We've got a whole bunch of the castle done now. So we've pretty much finished this side of the castle. Everything has all been finished up here. I'm really happy with the way the King's Room has turned out. I think this looks really cool. I like the little bedrooms. I think they also look really nice. And I think, I think, let's see if we can actually just do one more little thing. Let's get ourselves again some acacia leaves and some composters. And let's just put a couple more of these about. So let's put one over there. A couple of leaves. And of course, in here, we could always go ahead and make a little bit of color somewhere. So maybe over here by the window. I know there is actually not really no room to get around, but it doesn't matter. Something like that. I think that looks really cool. A little splash of color does the world of wonders. All right, guys, I think that just about wraps it up for today. So we've got loads of stuff in today. We've literally done this entire floor, which is really cool. 
all of the rest of this is all done we've got all of our other rooms all finished up in here so this place is really starting to come to life now um really really over the moon with that what happened to the bell okay that is totally weird <laughs> okay it's there apparently Okay guys, we're going to wrap it up just there. So as always, I thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, then please consider subscribing. Just don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. But for now, this is Blue Nose signing out. And I will catch you guys in the next one.